The last time ASU played Oregon and Oregon State, it was right here in Tempe. ASU came in as an unranked team with zero marquee wins on their resume. They left the weekend with something no women's college basketball team had ever done this century. Back-to-back -back wins over the number two and number three team in the nation. It vaulted ASU into the national rankings in the top 25, and they rode that momentum into a five-game win streak. But now ASU comes in one and two in their last few games after a loss to Arizona and a loss to UCLA here in Tempe this past weekend. They travel back to Oregon this weekend to face a red-hot Oregon Ducks team and an Oregon State team that has refound their mojo from beginning in the season. And Charlie Turner Thorne, Riley Richardson, and this entire Devils team knows they've got their work cut out for them. So I think they're going to be a lot more rested and just sharper. Um, but, you know, they didn't get the three-point game going. I think that's something partially us, but partially they just also missed. So, I mean, that's an adjustment we need to make. We need to be much more locked in and not hope they miss shots. Um, we know they're going to be hungry, and so um, each time around it's harder to win a uh, second game, and there's a lot of adjustments they need to make. And so uh, we're just focusing on ourselves, and we're looking at film from the last times we played them, and we we gave up a lot of open shots against Oregon State and stuff like that. So I think um, just getting better at the little things. Arizona State is looking to do something that was thought impossible at the beginning of the season, and that's sweeping Oregon and Oregon State. You can almost chalk these games down as four losses for Arizona State, they have the chance to turn them into three or four wins, which would vault them back into the national conversation in terms of the rankings and the Pac-12 standings. If ASU is able to do it, they'll have to shoot even better than they did here in Tempe the last time out, but now they're in a hostile environment. So we'll see how ASU performs. They're coming off a little bit of a skid one and two in their last three games, but they have the confidence to know that they've done it before. They may be able to do it again. On a Wednesday afternoon in Tempe, Jack Johnson, Cronkite Sports.